My childhood was like a tornado. It was lonely because I wanted a family, but my mom is broken and hurt. There was a lot of fighting. There was chaos. I do remember her having these loving, caring moments, but then this destructive behavior would take over and spiral from there. My family and marriage has suffered because my mom's abuse and her alcoholism. I think my mom's drinking is to forget and feel normal, not the guilt and the shame. My mother told me she was molested and raped at the age of six. She was trying to help me understand what she went through, that she wasn't perfect and she was trying her best. I would get up and I would hug her. And even though it was hard to listen to, it seemed that she didn't have anybody else. Currently, I'm taking care of my mom in Alaska since my dad died last month. She struggles to get out of bed and she struggles with anxiety and depression. I feel at times that I'm my mom's babysitter and it just feels like I've been going nowhere, taking time away from my family and my kids. Tiffany worries that it's gonna relapse me into drinking. I'm trying with whatever I have to help my mom. She's worthy of love. I try to tell her that she didn't ever stop being a mom. Chris, good to meet you. Thank you. So I've been talking to Tiffany, and everyone, I think, recognizes that this is a difficult and can be a chaotic situation with your mother, including your mother. Do you agree with that? Yes, Dr. Phil. What are you observing in her when you've been up there? I notice her falling into the darker spots that she has been before, not being able to uh, find, find a purpose and get out of her uh, current situation where the role is that she just wakes up and hopefully not drinks, but that's most likely what happens and depression. And one of the things you're trying to decide right now is should it be an option to move your mother in with you and if so, under what circumstances? We both believe, you know, that you should honor your parents, blanketed. But it is very conflicting because our whole lives have been revolved around creating different childhoods for our kids than we have. So it's just a very, very big internal struggle. It's been pretty high maintenance. In 2006, your mother Nellie had a DUI. 2007, she had a DUI and then court-ordered inpatient rehab. Then in 2010, Nellie and Dan, your dad, had an extended visit. Uh, then in 2015, they move in for several years, and this is when your mom had an affair with a neighbor, and you had a DUI, and then you were in the hospital for depression. Yes. 2018, Nellie disappears at a casino. Then in 2019, she's kind of moving between her car and a hotel. 2020, Nellie and Dan stay with you guys again. Then in February 2021, they return to Alaska. This is when your father, her husband, passes away. Very sorry for your loss, by the way. Thank you, Dr. Uh, and then you go to Alaska to stay with your mother to kind of help her over this initial rough patch, which is clearly going to be a rough patch for anyone. So historically, you have some history of, of her and them living with y'all. A significant history, yes. Yeah. And how did that go? It feels like it came to a head and then it popped every time. A few times, yeah. So sure. it's not worked? No. It, it hasn't. Well, one of the things I said to Tiffany was, when you ask a hard question, you have to be ready to hear an answer. And I'm curious if you're really ready to hear the answer to some of these questions. 110%. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.